Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. Sorry for kind of being a little quiet here since the release of Love Struck. I've actually been spending a lot of time focusing on my second channel. It is probably not going to be your niche, but if it happens to be, you should definitely come on over, check it out and say hi. So today we're going to be talking more on the game breaking bug, the error code one two three which Krenricht writes there are currently three different versions of this error code around at least that we know of at this time this is causing lots failing to load making it impossible for some simmers to travel or for some even households and saves not loading at all well some of the latest issues have finally been addressed by the sims team honestly I didn't know if we'd be hearing anything this week Week. The Sims Direct Communications tweets earlier on this hour, we are working on an update that targets several reports following the release of The Sims 4 Lovestruck, including error code incidents. I am crossing my fingers that this involves error code 123. I mean, I don't know what else it would include, but I'm hoping that at this time they have found a fix for it. This will also include missing interactions and distorted glasses for frames. I have been reading a lot about that over on the forums. There's definitely something very strange going on for Sims wearing glasses. They finish this off, we appreciate your patience as we aim to get these fixes in game within the next week. So not coming imminently, but very soon. You know, I wish that this account would tweet more often. Trust me, I am very happy and grateful that they give us these updates. Also, I will say that I think that that's the bare minimum. I really don't feel like we should have to be grateful for something like that. If we're giving them our hard earned money for these games, for these packs, it's kind of what they should be doing automatically. I think that they need to be updating us more frequently, not just when a patch is on the way, but when bug reports are coming in, letting us know on this account in real time, hey, we see your reports, we're investigating. You know, even just little updates like that would ease a lot of players stress. The replies beneath this tweet seem to indicate that there's a lot more wrong with the game than they plan to fix with this next upcoming patch. One user writing, please fix the occult not being able to read tombs. Please, I want gallery sims in my cupid's corner again. What about the ceiling glitch? I hope it gets fixed soon. It's really annoying for screenshots. Fix the bills. Can you guys fix this too? It seems that there is a UI glitch for the wants and wishes in the Somology panel. We were also previously having this issue for the character values with parenthood. There seems to be a lot of issues with the user interface following some of the latest updates. Share your thoughts on all of this down below. Are you guys experiencing any other issues that the Sims team did not address in this direct communications tweet? Let me know down below. Hello, of course, I want to thank you for watching, take care, and happy life simming. Bye, guys.